that was a really cool scene. It was all the building was full all CGI, mm -hmm. which was great. And then the the driller ends up coming, and then Optimus swoops in. The that was slow motion. And then he ends up he is it, yeah he defeats the driller he defeats there. The driller and then Shockwave sees Optimus. And tangles him, him in wires. He, he shoots him, he fell back, he got tangled in the construction and crane wires and stuff. I thought that was really stupid. Yeah, and the uh, wreckers had to come and get him out. And then, that, that was just an excuse for Optimus not to be in the battle. Yeah. So stuff could happen. Mm. And then, um, he has a sword. Why can't he just cut himself out? I don't know. Well, I think, like, in his little weapons cache thing, yeah, that's where he stored it. You know? Well, he stores it in his arm, too. Yeah, but maybe he switched it out for a different gun or something. I still think he had it. Yeah, maybe. So, anyway, um... And then we mm -hmm. see... some. I, I believe this is where the part was. It might have been before this, where we see the Birdmen for the first time. They come in. Uh, uh... Two. Lennox and his team come in. They fly in the little squirrel suits. Yeah. And, that was um, a good sequence there. I like that. And... That was all real. It wasn't CGI. They actually filmed all that. They did all of it. All the buildings were CGI. Well, no. No, the, where they flew through the little well, space. The, that was that um, was that was CGI because yeah, that was yeah. the building that was toppled over. Yeah. So, other than that, everything was real there. Everything was actually filmed. Mm -hmm. That was a really cool part. And then after that, Sam and Carly see Starscream. And, and then this was really funny part. Starscream could have just shot him and killed him. Yeah, but Starscream had a toy with him, you know? And then, you know, he, he died because of it. Yeah, Sam um, got a little uh, grappling gun. And he and shot him in the eye. Yeah, and like, he was like being spun all over while Starscream was like, Oh my eye, oh my eye. And um, another thing, when Sam put the, uh, the bomb in his eye from Q, mm -hmm. I don't get why Starscream just didn't take it out of his eye. It was hurting so much. Well, yeah. You know, well, his hand, you know, he was rubbing his head on the ground and everything, trying to get it out. He had an arm. <laughs> that's a good point. That's a really wa good I was, point. I was watching that, and I'm like, why are you scraping your head again? <laughs> so, uh, well. Well, the other thing was still in his other eye, wasn't it? Maybe he was just too flustered. Yeah. He was caught up in the heat of the Being moment. killed by Sam. Yep. And, mm. of course, Sam barely escapes the explosion. And then, because Lennox helped him, and then Bumblebee comes and does his little corkscrew thing and saves them both. The, the spider parkour on the building thing. And then, and then I, I like Sam's comment, but he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> that reminded me, that remind me of Rush Hour 3, one of the bloopers. No, Rush Hour 2 bloopers. But uh, anyway, this is a Rush Hour. <laughs> and, and, um... Well, after that, a couple more things happen, and then all of a sudden, a few Autobots are captured. They don't, yeah. I, they I, don't really show you how, they just are. I, I hope that that's kind of a director's cut when later when the Blu-ray disc comes out, yeah. and then we can actually see what happens. And then, you know, but, uh, we see Barricade, who mm -hmm. is finally back from Transformers 1. Yeah. And that was just like his only scene, you know? And he, he was in there for a good five to seven minutes, I believe, which mm -hmm. is pretty good t screen time. Yeah. And then, um, so he ends, it was Barricade that ends up killing Q, for those of you wondering. Yeah. Um, and then, so, and then Bumblebee's next. Soundwave said, this one's mine. Yeah, when, um, they were about to kill Bumblebee, which they didn't, um, like, I was waiting for I mean, it, and the suspense, like, it, it, they waited too long, We, you know? We actually thought he was going to die. Yeah, and then, like, I was like, no, nah, this is taking too long, so they're not going to kill him off. And, and then, like, you can tell that from... And then, and then I was thinking, no way is Michael Bay going to kill off the most white Transformers character. Ever, you know? He, he'd be hearing it right now if he yeah, did. Yeah, he would. And then, um, so, I actually forget what happens, but something happens, Bumblebee, uh, shoots... Sound wave um, in, think, the, in the spark. I think something crashes down, or I forget exactly. Yeah, yeah but so he ends up killing uh, sound wave, and then some of the uh, soldiers, the snipers, end up shooting the eyes out of the other one. Barricade dies. That's what happened. They they shot the eyes first. No, so a big crash happened. I don't know. If, 
I believe it might have been. Um, oh, it might have been uh, Brains and um, what's his name when they crashed down? Yeah, it was it was that. Yeah. I believe yeah, Brains and uh, Wheelie crashed the ship. And then, yeah. um, and then so that happened, and then um, after that we see Sam and uh, Dylan, and uh, they uh, Dylan's about to activate the, the space bridge. Yep. And uh, sounds like trying to stop them. They have a little fight. Another thing I've heard with people saying is that I thought only Sentinel Prime could control it. Well, only Sentinel Prime could control it. He doesn't say anything about him activating it. Like, no, because the pillar was got shot. Remember? Yeah, it was. It was already set up. Yeah, and it was already set up, and was, everything was activated. And it was just that one little thing that wasn't but, so. There. He, he, Sentinel Prime was still controlling it. It just yeah. needed to be activated by someone else. No, it didn't need to be activated. It just needed to be put back in yeah. place. Yeah, activated the same thing. Okay. So anyway, Sam ends up hitting him with a with a pole, and uh, he ends up getting electrocuted and dies from hitting the pillar. And then, um, so after that, we see a very crucial part of the movie between Carly and Megatron. Yeah. It, it, like Carly decides to venture off on her own and go talk to Megatron, who is sitting there, his uh, brain's being he, eaten he, by. He's, he's kind of brain dead by this point in the yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah, he's just like there. He's just like um, a creepy old hobo, you know, going, Cybertron, you are saved. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, basically, Carly says that um, if he's he's the ruler of the Decepticons. He's the ruler of the Decepticons, then why been, isn't he, yeah. like, controlling everything he's, that's happened? He's taking orders from Sentinel. Yeah, and then so he gets ticked off and, you know, goes and kicks him in his butt. And then, so yeah, he ends up coming through and uh, Sentinel is just about to kill Optimus. Mm -hmm. And Oh, wait, we forgot that, uh... Oh, also, when B takes right, down the right pillar. before the speed, speed does, does a football move and he goes and tackles the pillar and all this. A couple and of us in the theater were like, touch now. Yeah. <laughs> that was a funny part. Yeah. And then, um, you know, Rash is just sitting there, let's shoot it. And then he just comes and like, tackles the thing. Oh. And then, um, so Sentinel is about to kill Optimus. He already ripped off his arm. Yeah. Megatron comes, and because of what Carly said, he comes and he just... Destroys. He just beats him up like, like nothing. Yeah. Because Sentinel wasn't expecting it. And then Optimus this, turns on Megatron. So Sentinel's laying on the ground, mm -hmm. just kind of I don't know I don't know what he was even thinking at that point. Megatron <laughs> does like his rant thing, like Me I am the ruler of the Decepticons. That's um. You no, know, yeah. actually he said, uh, Optimus, I'd like to uh, propose a truce. After all, what would you? Who would you be without me? He didn't. He, he said that. Yeah. I thought he was like. No. No. Right after he defeated. No, no. he didn't. And, and then, so Why am I way off? <laughs> so, so he proposes a truce. He said, Optimus, where would you be without me? And then Optimus mm -hmm. says, the, Let's time, it's time to find out. And then so he ends up killing Megatron very easily. Yeah, they fight. And if, another thing, I've heard a lot of you saying, well, he killed him too easily. Megatron is very weak at this point. Yeah, like, if you notice, when Carly was talking to him, like, there, there was, like, these mosquito robot transformers they, they, eating his brain. And actually, they were fixing him. Fixing it? Yeah, it was. Uh, it looks like clones of uh, Scalpel, which was in the second movie. Mm -hmm. And then uh, they were, yeah. and then Megatron just kept picking at him. And then yeah, but he like yeah, he did like crush him. I thought they were like mosquitoes, they, you know. They were they were trying to fix him. Yeah, it looked like mosquitoes to me the way he was acting around him. Marley's not as into this as me. If you wanted. Yeah, <laughs> he he's the one with the website guys, you know. Yeah, I'm just having him here for reference things I forgot. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> I've been, so we got off track here. Alright, so, um, Optimus kills Megatron, and then, um, Tentinel's like, oh, Optimus, I'm so sorry, I was going to have to go to Cybertron, and he ends up, like, you know, he, Optimus is like, he didn't, like, you, you didn't, didn't betray Cybertron, you just no, betrayed yourself. Oh, why do I say it wrong? He said, you didn't betray us, you betrayed yourself, and he shot him twice, and he was seeing Optimus no, which I thought that was a pretty cool thing. I was close. Yeah. They wouldn't know what it meant. And then, 
so that part, I was thinking, I hope Optimus doesn't let him live. And I was thinking that at that point. It's shot me through there. And then, uh, so, when he killed him, I was, I was excited about that. And then also, one thing I forgot to mention, Megatron came when he was shooting Sentinel, I was like, I almost screamed, yeah, at the top of my lungs. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Megatron was, was like the last person you expect to do that. That was the ending, and then, um... Optimus didn't and, have his, like, speech. He did have a speech, it was just in a, dif not in a different location. Like, it, it was him, he was, like, narrating it, you know? So well, right before that, of course, Bumblebee does his little ring thing, and he plays the wedding song and stuff. And, yeah. you know, one last bit of comedy in it. And then Optimus, so sa Optimus says his speech, and uh, it wasn't like the other two movies, but at least he still had a speech. Like um, in the other two movies, you can actually see him talking, but in this one, it was like more like a narration. Of it. Well, but, but it wasn't even a long speech, it was just like a little two sentences. Actually all three of them were short and they were not him talking, it was just a narration. But but um No, because but, but, he, he was talking. No, his mouth doesn't move. Does just, just, mouth doesn't move just, just, just agree with me, Marley. I know what I'm talking about. Okay. And then so, um it just wasn't in a different location this time, it was like the first two. But it did seem like it ended kinda quick. Second time I saw it, it wasn't. It didn't seem like it was ending as quickly. But uh, so that was the movie. I thought that was great. Um, Are you sure though? Cause like, I'm I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We can cut this last part out. We're out of time, everybody. So uh. <laughs> yeah, that that's the comedy part th of the th show. Thanks for watching. If you watched all 35 minutes of this, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> like for my stupidity in this. Alright, guys? Rate, comment, subscribe, and I guess we'll see you guys later, alright? And then imagine if I had to write this out. So, uh. Yeah, he'd have to write my banter, too. So, thanks for watching, and, uh, see you for episode four. Bye.